Little has defined the character of many of our colonial American communities more than City Hall. Construction began on this Art Deco style building by architect Jeremiah Schmidt in 1927. Later on, it became the official New Braunfels City Hall in 1929. City magistrates and records were upstairs while the police department was in the basement, where a walk-in vault was used as a jail room of all places. The police department called City Hall home up until around 1934, and then came World War II. The medical services the Red Cross provided were a vital part of the home front effort, and New Braunfels would benefit from this tremendous push with hundreds of volunteers taking part. The Comal County chapter met regularly in the basement in rooms quartered off to practice and study surgical dressing techniques right here. There's even a well right over here in the parking lot on the side of the building that's got a 35-inch cap on it. During construction on the Sophienburg, Old City Hall was also leased out as a temporary museum archive leased out for the paltry sum of one dollar. The building now houses the Liberty Bistro Cafe and a few spooky tales as well. One night, a waiter heard someone call out his name, then they poked him in the back. But there was no one there, not one person in the room. Several dark figures have been seen out of the corners of people's eyes. In fact, one of them just showed up right in the middle treasury room then vanished into thin air, just like that. There have even been repeated reports from the wait staff that after they've gone over to clean off a table, a handprint mysteriously just shows right back up. Talk about leaving your mark on the world. <laughs>